Lick it. You literally just got like lipstick on your teeth just before it's uh, on. You got it? Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be next season's globe's like, you know the operatic sound when it's like oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, hi. Hey, everybody. Um, so that's James. What's up? From Glow Up Season Two. Yay, we're uh, Hannah. <laughs> we're back together. Yes. So we're gonna do a bit of filming for uh, for no reason other than we just wanted to do our makeup, and then we're gonna be answering some questions. It's more just like a get to know us, and it's gonna be a get ready with me, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. It is. I'm super excited. There's so much to reveal extra things that you guys might not know about us from watching the show that it really is like I feel like that is to an extent a snippet of like kind of who we are mm -hmm. so this is you know on camera but off camera like after the show and just yeah what we kind of do on a normal day to day basis I only use glue on my brows now literally just um they, Elmer's it looks so amazing and it looks so wispy. I actually have Elmer's with me today. Yeah. I think I might, for the sake of even like Just first try time it. trial, I'm gonna try it. So I am a big fan of like drawing on little individual hairs, those yeah. tiny like tiny like sharp details. Yeah. I think we both have really like dark brows as well. Oh, so we yeah. like it to be a feature rather Completely. than like yeah. just like a thing. Mm. I don't, traps. I don't need these, but they just, they brighten up your day. Do you go in with your face first, or what's your first thing for yeah. you? Yeah, well, could, I'm gonna try and do an eye look now, so actually I tend to just prep my whole face, yeah. and then just Can do I the eye look first. a little bit of yeah, spray? Please. This is so funny, like, using Elmer's, because, like, because I kind of started makeup doing drag, doing drag, and, like, I do drag even on a regular basis yeah. now in London, mm -hmm. I would go straight in with this press stick out and get yeah. about 10 layers on yeah. where I'm like literally getting like one or two and then I'm just using like a kind of a hard spoolie. I actually have this from Soap Brows mm. and I use that on a daily basis. I've just started but yeah. if I'm into this, this could be like... Life changing. I think so for me, okay so I literally just got the product like this week mm. like when we filmed this mm. and I find that it definitely keeps the brows in shape but after a couple of hours, they kind of sink a little bit. Like, yeah, it keeps shape, but it doesn't that. keep them lifted. Like, yeah. you know, you're pushing the hairs up against, like, going in, like, the wrong direction of, like, the law of gravity. Yeah, what they and, like, you know, and they're thick as well. Yeah. Like, you've got the coarse brow. So yeah, like, exactly. We need something a bit sturdier, Yeah, I'm absolutely. So this is... <laughs> this is so exciting. With drag, what was your last <laughs> big look that you did? My last big look that I did, well, for me... Because I'm passionate about makeup and drag is also something that I do, mm -hmm. I would give myself a good two to three hours with practice, but still get a, like do something different every time. Yeah. So I did a show two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and it was on Valentine's weekend, around like when when we're filming this, yeah. <laughs> and I did uh, Electric Six's Danger High Voltage, <laughs> and I dressed myself as you know the devil and Powerpuff Girls him. Oh, I was I red. Love him. From like, you know, the scalp down to my chest and then I was wearing kind of like a full cat suit so it, it fit my brief perfectly. So, you know, for that I changed like the, the, my skin tone, I used red, mm -hmm. kind of like grease flash palette, and, like mm -hmm. a few different like paints, contours, highlighters and then, you know, big dramatic kind of like smoked out liner and like, yeah. you know, a new cut crease like any drag. And then I just drew on a few little kind of like hearts into it so... That was kind of like the last kind of, you know, funky thing that I did. And I did drag like the weekend after, just the weekend gone by, but I painted my beard white. Like, it changes up for me every time. My drag is never the exact same yeah. every time I do my makeup. You but, know, you did your classic, uh, the caterpillars under your... Yeah. But do you still do that? Like that class, you know, that was sort of like yeah. something that got you into I it. actually did, so I did it a lot before glow up and then obviously during the show mm -hmm. afterwards i think personally a level from uh, for me was trying to be quite different yeah. on the scene mm -hmm. so i went in whenever i was doing drag in london before glow up and i knew i needed something to stand out because it's quite a common thing to have a lot of people doing drag these days and mm -hmm. i knew that my background was makeup so I guess I set like kind of my own standards in my head yeah. 
I need to do something different. Like if I'm a makeup artist, I can be, I can kind of like be a little bit more creative, yeah. but still yeah. let it be drag. Yeah, so for, sure. for me, yeah, I did it a lot, but then after the show, I found myself being comfortable in just presenting, like doing more polished drag. Mm -hmm. So I actually haven't done it a lot, but now since the show, yeah, I'm I'm going to be doing it a little bit more now. Yeah. For me, I've always like struggled with time management in general, <laughs> as we will see throughout the show. Oh. You actually were you were you're pretty time efficient. I'm very time efficient. Yeah. I would don't time, have to come out. Would time be something that like? Is that like a habit that you yeah. just have like from when you were younger? Before I'm extremely ever getting impatient. <laughs> really? Like, I'm so impatient. Like if I have to queue for anything, I'm like, no, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> you and I kind of like, yeah, we share a similar vibe. Um, I've had to learn how to be patient just in other realms of life, but I get really like frustrated and like quite thick more or less uh -huh. over really non-important things. Yeah, yeah, me too. Whereas like when there's bigger situations, I just don't get, I don't know, I don't get as mad. No. Like there was definitely times throughout the competition where I was frustrated at my own work. But mm -hmm. I was like, okay, let this pass, there's bigger issues in life. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, if the remote's not going to turn on the TV, it's gone out the window before you know it. Oh yeah, like, um, true. How did you find living with 10 other people in um, an apartment for the competition? i got to be honest, I found that really, really tough, actually. Yeah. Um, I've always lived either with uh, just one or two other people, and that being also my parents, like uh -huh. two other people, um, or myself. I've lived alone. Really? Um, and wow. for me, I didn't really do the whole uni living with people that you don't know thing. I found that really, really difficult. And I think just being an introverted person, I've learned to be extroverted because it makes my life easier. Yeah. I think it just makes your life easier if you're extroverted because, you know, social situations come up whether you like them or not. <laughs> Every you, day. Really? Yeah, and you either get involved or you show away and yeah. you know, make things difficult. So <laughs> thing to, it was nothing to do with the people in the house. And so. that's funny because, you know, as a contestant on the show, uh -huh. it is somewhat of a nearly given trait because we socialise and interact and we're quite, like, verbal and you know we're we're quite talkative because yeah. we know we're part of like a whole production where yeah. we get to talk about ourselves all the time yeah um would you nearly say that you would like be because i think you and i'd be sitting in this way like an introverted extrovert yeah that's exactly yeah. what i am yeah or actually an extroverted introvert like an I'm, extroverted oh yeah. okay so yeah I'm you born are introverted right but only child syndrome like same girl yeah. we snap yeah so you when really i was do. when i was younger and in school if my friends uh, used to ask me to hang out the weekend, I would say no, even though there was nothing going on. I just found it really stressful, the idea of going out in a big group, like, yeah. when I wasn't at school. I'm actually using grease paints. Are you? I did notice that. Yeah, because like, <laughs> I've like, really done really it in my it. drag. I just find that sometimes it's a little bit, like, easier at the start when I want to have really concentrated, like, pops of colour, and then yeah, I yeah. go back in with a shadow afterwards. Yeah, nice. And I don't even need to, like, have too much shadow. I just need it to, like, you know, lift the colour a little bit, make it a bit more vibrant. Yeah, for sure. But it means that there just isn't, like, too much fallout. Again, I'm well aware that that is all in the skill that you could go straight in with powder. Mm. It's just something that it I like to... It sticks better, though. Yeah. If you put something down first. Exactly. Because, like, I think it... For me, what I found the benefits of doing that is that there's more long wear. There's more longevity. Longevity. Long... 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 How did you find living in the house? I quite liked it because when I was younger, from the age of 12 to 18 in Ireland, I went to a boarding school. Um. So I was, my personal space was shared with 50 other boys. Yeah. I knew when I wanted to go off and have some space for myself. Uh -huh. So, you know, I kind of just do that without making like a means or issue out of it. I just will do it, I'll come back. Love to do my own thing. Mm. Oh, how I love to do my own thing. Like, <laughs> so. you, you did you yoga? Oh, oh yeah, so that as was we're all to, aware because the camera was up in my face. Yeah, I yeah I would do like so like even like I'm in a group like a household. I would make sure that I did my own thing, but I would still do it when there's like you know ten other people like walking around me. I wouldn't yep. shy from doing my own thing or no. yeah. So I think that just comes from like that just comes from my my upbringing, I guess. Like mm -hmm. in a way, I kind of feel through the competition. It wasn't an issue for me personally having to like hang with like 10 other people. Yeah. Like I don't think anyone ever had an initial issue, but I was just, 
I didn't even like give it a second thought, just yeah. from like my upbringing and my background. What was your favorite part, if you had to pick a favorite part about living with 10 other makeup artists? <laughs> I learned a lot and yeah. it was the support of people <laughs> that were going through the same thing. Yeah. Oh, there's, yeah. <laughs> there's a sequin heart on my face. I'm such oh a dirty God. bitch. I don't I my it. brushes. Where did you Keep it. Oh, yeah. Gross. Yeah, just like living with people who are going through the exact same thing mm -hmm. is useful because whilst my parents, friends, partner could be as supportive as, as they like, they still weren't living what I was living, yeah. what we were living. Sure. Which <laughs> makes it sound so dramatic, but it was hard. No, yeah, it, oh my god, it's, it, watching season one mm. as a viewer, Yeah. I definitely thought it was easier than what it actually was. Yeah. Like, I think... What was exciting about being on the second season was having seen the first like edit of the production uh -huh. and having kind of like a preconceived idea. Like all the contestants of season one, they had nothing to rely on. They had no blueprint of what the show was no. going to be like beforehand. Uh -huh. So they kind of paved the way. Exactly. And even with watching season one, going in, it still felt so like new. I was like, mm -hmm. what's, I, I always feel like, you know, I couldn't get any tips from like the first season. So, how did you feel in the debrief for episode one's creative challenge? Mm, it was very, very, <laughs> <laughs> very, very emotional. It was, I think, the most emotional mm. thing I've ever experienced yeah. before. That was real. I know that it probably is going to look so fake when it comes out. Like, my yeah. breaking down of like, <laughs> <laughs> but like, it was real. I Bye. thought. I felt useless. I felt like a f***ing idiot walking mm -hmm. in there because I've I've never well pr prior to the show, I'd never worked in makeup professionally. It was Which just is me. just like your talent's raw, babe. Oh, your talent is raw. Um, it's just me, you know, yeah. in my room. So, which is crazy to, to do a professional job and know that I did a bad job, and then show them something so personal. That's like the first brief was so personal yeah. as well, wasn't it? It was. It like, was. It's who are you? Yeah. Show us who you are. So no biggie, like. So if they attacked that, it would have been, well, you know, a, a confirmation <laughs> of my own fears that I was actually a useless twat. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what do you think you should stay at home? <laughs> that was me. I was Please like, leave. I go back to the farm. Oh, I don't even live in a farm. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's mm -hmm. probably that. That is actually very good. Like, straight to the point. Why it was so emotional mm -hmm. from all of us that first episode. Yeah because it was, it's personal. So I was in my, the other red chair mm -hmm. beside you. And I remember thinking, okay, we're both in this together. Cause I knew Hannah and I kind of like, you know, we had a similar vibe, mm -hmm. but I remember just being like, I'm not going home. And I was like, if I'm not going home, I'm going to have to work like crazy yeah. to get out of this chair. And I just went for hell for leather on my luck. I just went straight in. I think I had my contour done in like 20 minutes. And it lit a fire under my ass. So it was like, that was my fearful reaction. Like fearful reaction. It was like fight or flight. Yeah. So I was like, well, of course I have to fight if I want to stay because we like the creative brief kind of like re deciphers who's in the face off yeah. process. So yeah, I was scared shitless. I was really like freaking out, but I didn't want to like let that like be shown because I definitely knew I had a lot more fight in me throughout the competition and I had a lot to give. It just, like, I, I set off on the wrong foot. So, you know, I had to work hard on that credit brief. I think what we all did, because it's a, it is a hard thing. I was like, make sure you stay. So I just went to town on all of those eyelashes, oh, about yeah, half yeah, a tube yeah. of lash glue, yes. like, just painted my face a completely different, like, white out, purple color. Mm -hmm. um, your look is something that I would have seen for like the semi-final standard. It was no. so, it was amazing. That's it was like, it. cause Val even said it wasn't even like special effects week. And there you are doing a third eye in your forehead <laughs> and none of us has seen you before. You want to know what my imposter syndrome felt like after <laughs> I saw you? I was like, oh my God. Oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> In that moment, I just wanted to lose myself in what I was doing because I knew if I thought about it too much, I wouldn't have done my look. Yeah. Because that that vibe, that's that such style, a good point. That's a really good is, point. Is me. Yeah. That's what I do. I yeah. d I 
don't do I don't really do glamour or anything uh -huh. useful <laughs> or commercial. <laughs> I do things that are I guess I would like to try and market it and get involved in like special effects and stuff, but yeah. As a starting point, as a hobby, what I do isn't particularly, um, it's probably not an all year round thing. I think I'm more useful at Halloween, you know, like uh -huh, I imagine people uh -huh. would probably book me for that. When did you start, you know, playing with makeup? When did you discover that you had like a flair for it or a passion? To be honest, I started my Instagram because I wanted to model. Oh, wow. And I did model. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to model for alternative, like, you know, like gothy yeah brands. your niche yeah and i did and then after a while i was like it's not really going anywhere and then my following dropped at this point i have 11.2 and oh, it's wow. been at 11.2 for about that's such a good point years. to make so at the point when we filmed this it's still about two months before globe actually airs uh -huh. and i have nine thousand less babe i have two thousand three hundred mm -hmm. so there is a so long it, way for me to, to go it's hilarious, I'm almost done with you. <laughs> oh my god. I'm I knew you would be done before me. I'm not yeah, I'm not this is just what, I'm not a I'm not a fast I'm not a fast no. person. I'm like you're, that's you're definitely affecting true. your face. I have a problem with getting lost too often in my work. <laughs> if anything, I need to like be put under pressure. Uh -huh. Like what I've only started to do is put a timer on. Especially when I do drag makeup, yeah. like I used to take, guess how long I used to take doing drag makeup? Four hours. Guess again. Oh, fuck. Like when I started off. Seven. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, James! <laughs> how long? You're actually right with seven on average when I was oh. like a teen hiding in my like, Stop like you know, it. parents' bathroom or something. Or there's nothing, like no one's at home and I literally am like, I'm just going to take my face for the oh whole night. Oh my god. And it would turn into like a look and the look would be fine. But then I'd go and do a completely <laughs> new look on oh, top of it. Be What's like, the glitter on your eyelids? So it nice. is OCC <laughs> and I just spilled it on the table. <laughs> oh no, sorry, it's oh, no. Dove Craft Dove. Ultra Fine Glitter. I think I bought it at like a makeup convention like two years ago. It's well, there's some it. there. Extremely, <laughs> it's really nice on black. That's what I was trying to go for. Mm -hmm. Really <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh god, you just lost half of it. Well, I was a little bit too eager. I just thought to myself, well, fuck it. One for the audience! <laughs> yeah. I'm beat. We're done. We we're... are done! Yes! We're... I'm Yay. finished six hours later. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is tidy up. Yeah. <laughs> and then, we've got a bowl of delicious questions to help you get to know us. Yes. So then we will film that and drink and spill more information. <laughs>